Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, as soon as I hit play, something on me itches. Usually it's my nose. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome to I Swear I'm Stitching. I'm Sarah, and this is Floss Tube number 26. Um, I feel crooked, and I feel discombobulated. I feel like you guys are really far away. And I turned my fan off because it makes weird noise, and I'm hot. That was a crazy starting ramble, I'm sorry. Um, if you're new here, yeah, this is what I am. This is who I am. This this is what it's gonna be. Um, I understand if you leave. <laughs> if you keep coming back, wow, thanks guys. It's good to see you again. I got crazy eyes there. Um, <clears throat> my lighting's not that great, it's overcast. I didn't have it in me to plug in my ring light. It's, <laughs> it's like two extra steps. But it's not working for me today. Oh my god, my back is so itchy. I'm sorry. Okay, ah, anyways. So we'll jump. It's probably going to be a short one because I'm doing this um, in between my dogs getting groomed. Um, they still stink a kennel from their uh, when we went on vacation. So they're getting all cleaned up and purdied. And oh my god, hopefully some of that fur comes off because then it shouldn't look crazy. And my old lady's uh, nails needed trim super bad. Anyways. Again, this is who I am, sorry. Um, I'll start with uh, FFOs. Well, this is like a mini FFO. It's the, um, oh, let me see if I have a picture of it. I bet I don't, because I thought I planned ahead. I do not have a picture of it. <laughs> it's the, um, I also don't have my book open to it. My, I have three of these. Uh, for uh, projects. This one, I just put the year. It's for all my crafts. So I just fill them up and when when everything in them is finished, they get little X's and then I file it away with stuff in my closet because I'm kind of a hoarder. But anyways, this is ABC Dinosaur Sal. That's my mailman. Anyways, uh, by Clouds Factory. Um, I'm stitching it on 32 count Lugana in Kiwi by Color and Cotton. And I finally finished this month, which was L, M, and P. So I. Pterodactylus, Lambiosaurus, or. Yeah. And My Microceratus. He's an itty bitty dinosaur. He's adorable. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna pull this up and I cover myself and scratch my back. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, so you are far away. So we got Lamiosaurus, Pterodactylus, and the Micro... Microceratus. Look how little he is. Isn't he cute? I'm sorry, my camera quality is so bad, you guys. Cute. I love these colors. I love working on these dinosaurs. I love it so much. I'm so happy with that. I'll be so sad when it's done. And I think that should be the last month that has three dinosaurs. Because there should be two dinosaurs left, like per month, alphabetically left. Um, I even like that some of the background green greenery kind of blends in. I mean, it's definitely noticeable in person, but it kind of blends in a little bit with the fabric, so it doesn't look too busy. I'll show you the whole thing right now. So I think it helps make it look not too busy, because there's a lot of it. And that is totally washing out the green of the fabric. It's a very, very pretty green. I'm loving that project. Oh, I'm wearing my dinosaur dress. Like I didn't know, like I didn't know that. I'm like, well, what am I wearing? All right, and then my other FFOs. Well, yeah, actually, one is uh, cross stitch. Um, when we went on a vacation uh, to the Outer Banks, my daughter's best friend, who's like a third child to me, didn't have a very big knitting bag. Well, she didn't have a knitting bag at all. We'll hold some squares for a blanket she's knitting. So I wanted to make her a tote. I wanted her to have something for their trip that they're on right now in Florida. So I was gonna try to whip this tote out real quick when I found the um, stitchable tote that I got in a 
Black Needle Society bag? Oh, I want to say that's right, but I could be wrong. Anyways, it's um, a 14 count Ada bag in Aurora Borealis by Live and Die in LA. Um, I found that and I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to stitch her something real quick so she can have this bag to take with them. So they left Friday, so I had to give it to her before I could show this. So I um, used a Wee Little Stitches pattern, Knit Fast Die Warm. And I'll stitch that up real quick for her. I just used the black and her favorite color is yellow. I didn't think that looked good inside the lettering. So my uh, kid picked out a purple for the inside, which isn't showing up very well in person, but it shows up better on the bag. So she was very happy with that. She loves it. She's a great kid to make things for. She really appreciates it and really loves it. I mean, I taught her how to knit. <laughs> taught my daughter too. Just didn't stick with her. Um, let's see. And then, so my last FO is while they've been gone, I went ahead and um, ordered some special fabric for her and dug into my special Ruby Star Society fabric for her and made her that tote. It is by, it's a free pattern by Apple Green Cottage. Um, I just followed a little free tutorial on her website and um, I ordered this Riley, she collects teapots and um, teacups. So I ordered this Riley Blake teacup fabric. How pretty it is. My favorite color is yellow, so it's very nice that there's yellow in there. And then this is my Ruby Star fabric, I, special fabric I dug into. And then like I said, her favorite color is yellow, so I did yellow handles and yellow, yellow inside. It's two different yellows because I didn't have enough yellow to do both. But I think it turns out fine. So, <laughs> this is the bag completed. I'm super proud of it. It made me so mad my husband told me I should stop and walk away from the sewing machine. He's like, you need to stop. And I'm like, I can't. I have to finish it. <laughs> like a psycho. And I'm as proud that on, on the sides, for the most part, I almost got, this is my first tote. For the most part, I almost got them lined up. And then my, I have done, pretty sure I've done box bags. Like with zipper pouches, I don't know. Anyways, my bottoms, line up pretty darn well so overall proud um made some mistakes so look how nice that handle is <laughs> and then this handle <laughs> does not do that it or does it was that was i wrong and i thought i messed up on my handles nope i did <laughs> this handle is twisted see see how this handle's not twisted this handle's twisted <laughs> She doesn't care. She won't care. I mean, you can still hold it, still lug it around. I wish I'd made the handles a little bit bigger so like go over your arm better, but she doesn't have all this to deal with. So if she wants to wear over her arm, she shouldn't be a problem. So another mistake I made. So apparently I didn't measure quite right on the inside fabric. So then when I went to lay them on top, the inside fabric lining was too small. So I just laid it on top and then of the outside and then just trim the outside to fit. So I got that to work. And then my biggest mistake was I ironed on fusible fleece to the outing outside, outing, outside layer. And then I thought I was ironing on interfacing to the inside. So I'm ironing on one, do 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 and put it to the side. I'm ironing on the second and I'm like, wait a second. That's paper. This is heat bond. This is for when I um, made myself a Halloween shirt last year for applique. I'm like, it's not interface. Oh my God. But yeah. So I also stupidly took the paper off when I did the first side. And so I was trying to sew and trying to move the bag. That sticky heat bond was a nightmare. So I left the paper on when I did the second part, second side, much more smooth. Got it all together, ripped the paper off, and then because it's heat and bond, <laughs> I just did my best, laid it open, ironed inside all around to get the you know lining to bond. So it's puckered and wrinkly inside. It's inside, who cares? And then it's a little puckery and wrinkly, like over here. But again, it'll get washed, it'll get banged up, but it got wadded up. 
a 17 year old is going to take it with her to college and use it as a knitting bag. So overall, lesson learned, pay attention to what you're ironing onto your fabric. Cause I didn't have, cause I thought, well, maybe I'll just do another lining and we'll put interfacing on it. I didn't have enough of any color fabric, especially any more yellows to do that. So I just put the heat and bond made it work. So overall, I'm super proud of it and I think it's super pretty and I wish I used tote bags. I'd make myself one. But yeah, there we go. I already showed her a picture and she loves it. Again, great kid to make things for. Her. Those are my FFOs and that tea fabric was part of my haul, but I used it up. <laughs> so now we will move on to whips. So I'm gonna put that away. This month um, for Whip Go number 18 is 10 days on Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. And it'll look like this when it's done. I had contemplated going down to make sure I had enough fabric, but I just counted my squares. I'm oh, fine. So I stuck with the witches because I love them. And I finally got all the thread I was missing to work on them. So this is my progress. I love this so much. I'm just doing um, one over one on 18 count, Ada in Ash and Tan by To Die For Fabrics. Now you guys know, I'm a Bestitch Me bitch. I love Bestitch Me's fabric. She's a dying genius, but holy crap, To Die For Fabrics. So far I've just used this Ada, but man, it is nice, it is beautiful, it's easy to use. I love it. I will definitely buy more from her, and especially if I need Ada, because holy crap, I love it so much. There's my which is oh, I thought that was a fish until I stitched it, and then I realized it was a frog. The whole time I was like, man, this is a fish. And I was like, no, wait, why does that fish have weird legs? It's like, oh, because it's a frog. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. I love it so much. I'm hoping I have about what, five more days to work on it. Yeah, five more days to work on it. I'm hoping I'm going to finish this bat and then move the key snap. And I'm hoping, hoping to finish one witch. It would be the frog holding witch. So that witch right there. Hoping to finish that. Yeah. I love this pattern so much, you guys. I can't wait to do the mermaid part. I love mermaids. Look, there's my little day of the dead. <laughs> my little day of the dead mermaid. She's great because she can come out for Halloween and for summer. Or I could leave her up forever because you know what? It's my house. <laughs> so that's that. Ooh. Oh no. Now it's got dog hair on it because it's landed on the floor. Oh well. And then I worked on my Zelda wreath for uh, Nerdy and Nice, Christmas in July, Jolly Christmas, whatever. I don't know. Or Jolly July. I don't know. I'm working on it with Steph from Total Stitch Show. Hey, Steph. So this is what it'll look like. She's doing hers on um, canvas, plastic canvas. She's going to make a real wreath out of it. It's going to be awesome. I asked my husband what he wanted because this is basically for him and he said he wanted it framed. So it's going to be kind of small because I'm doing it on 18 count. That's what it looked like in the end. And I'm using just um, a generic 18 count khaki that I found on Amazon and it's by Sarah Bauman of, oh I always forget her, <laughs> Etsy name, I never write it down. Needleminder Layer on Etsy. Bad Sarah. Get your shit together, girl. Anyways, so I had to frog out Link a couple times, but I finally got the thread for him, and so my goal before I put this away for the summer is to finish Link, Santa Link, and I almost got him. I just have to do his sword. And then I can put him away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have, um, August is coming up, and I got other stuff I have to do. Look how cute he is. He looks so pissed. I mean, I'd be pissed too if I was him because I have killed that mofo 
going on a hundred times now trying to replay the original Zelda. I suck so bad, you guys. So, so, so bad. It hurts. Like, the other day I sat down and I was like, stitched a thread on this, stitched a thread on a hawk run, played some Zelda, died, 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 died threw down the thingy, stitched some, stitched some, died, died, died. Rinse and repeat all day. So, <laughs> you think I'd get better? I'm apparently slow at learning to get better at video games, especially old ones. My husband tried to tell, make me feel better by saying, well, it was notoriously hard. That's not helping. Let's see. That's it for my stitching, you guys. Um, Jesse Marie from Jesse Marie Does Stuff called the Whipgo numbers early for next month. So next month, where's my bag? I don't want to come over here. Ugh. So next month, she called 20 and 25, and 20 is my Christmas Quaker. It's a free pattern from, I think I got it off Fat Quarter Shop by Suzanne Ake for Orifil, and this is what it'll look like when it's done. I should be able to finish this quite easily. That's an Orifil, so I just kind of used similar colors of DMC, and I don't like trumpeting angels, so I just changed that to little singing birds. I'll show you what I got so far. No. Oh, everything's just falling. And this is on 36 Count Linen and Frost by Bestitch Me. Ooh, that's the back. You don't want to see that. I mean, it's not my worst back in the world, but you don't want to see that. I don't give a crap about backs. I carry. I do all sorts of stuff. Anyways. So there it is. See, I changed the trumpeting angel to some birds. You know, this is so hard. How does anyone ever get good at doing this? And I lost my camera thing. Where'd it go? There we go. I lost it. Okay, so you can see what I need to finish. I just need really those big two red motifs on the sides, and then all the little fill in duty dad, light pink doodads. That's really all I have to do. So I should definitely finish this quickly. It'll probably be my work project when August starts. Cause I can finish that pretty quickly on a Wednesday and a Thursday. Friday, no, cause Friday's a busy day. I work at the BMV. People love to come in on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And be assholes. Anyways, <laughs> hi. <laughs> you know why BMV people are um, rude? It's cause no one listens to us. Okay, sorry. And then she called number 25, which on my board is 10 days of the Rolodex morning sampler. That is by Bendy Stitches Designs. And I'm working mine on 32 count Belfast linen from Picture This Plus. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Oh, I need a new phone pretty, pretty soon, you guys. This is insane. I broke it last April. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm changing mine to say I'll crawl home to him because I will crawl home to my husband. And this is where I'm at. I'm really glad you guys can't see me because um, I'm sweaty so I've got my legs all spread out in my dress. It's real unladylike. <laughs> so that's what I got so far. So I'm making progress. I definitely won't finish this next month, but I got some good progress going. I'm just using the called for DMCs, nothing fancy. I do love it though. I love this weeping willow so, so much. I, got, yeah, I think that's the only change I'm making is to have it say, no grave can hold my body down. I'll crawl home to her. I almost, was gonna put all crawl home to Ben because that's my husband's name. I thought that might be a little too morbid. I thought he might appreciate it if I just kept it a little more neutral, a little more vague. 
So those are my plans. Oh, and then I have to, let's see, obviously I'll be starting the August dinos from Clouds Factory, the August flower bouquet from Jeanette Douglas Designs, and then I have to start and maybe, fingers crossed, finish, but I highly doubt it, the um, anniversary stitch that I'm gonna stitch up. It's um, a wreath from, shit, a wreath from something. All patterns, let me get it. Let me look at my book. A wreath from All Perfect Patterns on Etsy and you can have it personalized. So I had them put um, a quote from Father Brown in it that cracked me up when I was watch binge watching Father Brown. And I said, turned to my husband, I said, why wasn't that in our wedding vows? The only way I leave this marriage is in a coffin. And we had lilies. My bouquet was mostly lilies. So. And I'm going to stitch that on Garden Party from Bestitch Me, which I don't have out, so I can't show you. So those are my plans. That, dinos, flowers, excuse me, Rolodex Morning Sampler, and Christmas Quaker. And then... Since it's still summer, hopefully I can squeeze a little more of Zelda in. So that's it. And then other craft-wise, I'm still working on my socks. Haven't touched them. Need to pick up my nephew's vest. I'd like him to have it for this winter, so I need to pick that up again. I've been plugging away on my son's uh, quilt. I just haven't really had the quilty bug in me, so I just I forced myself to do like five square, like make half square triangles, like five. And for a oh, six, I forced myself to do six because there's three of each color. Anyways, and then my friend, uh, work wife, best friend, love of my life, <clears throat> finished embroidering a quilt. She's been working on this for three years, embroidering quilt squares. Let me just give a pull one out as an example to show you how awesome she is. That's for her mother, so it's all things that are like important to them. Like that is their beagle dog. His name is Dog. And then, like she did, um, <clears throat> writing. Uh, her and her sister and brother. There's writing. There's just things her mom loves, like e Easter. Look at those French dots, you guys. It's so fucking dense. She is just a wizard at embroidery. If I can find anything else. I don't want to do the really personal things. I have like letters from her mom likes bears. That kind of thing. So, <clears throat> and then uh, she just bought, um, they, she made those five by five. And then she bought red and green. And it's got a brown back and a brown, brown bind, binding. But uh, she wants me to sew that together for her. It's going to be a massive quilt, you guys. Look at massive it's like 17 rows oh no she had them in order that's okay i took a picture we laid it out at work after work one day i took a picture so i could not possibly screw it up but i have to start sewing that for her but i told her i really wanted to get most of the last quilt done before i started on that and so she's already taken three years to do the embroidery squares she said i absolutely no rush so i have that to do hopefully i'm thinking maybe in the winter i'll get started on that what else is there? So, haul. Not much haul. Um, that fabric for the bag, I got myself, I <laughs> slept order a bunch of random shit off Amazon, or tired order. I don't know. My dog was sick, and she went outside, like, 3 in the morning, and I just kind of popped on the computer and was like, oh, bye, bye, bye. And I needed more scissors, so I brought, I don't even know where they're from, somewhere on Etsy, Amazon. They're just these cute little octopus scissors, because I love octopuses. Octopi. Look how cute. And it's pretty, like, teal and pink. And they're super, they don't open the easiest. They're a little stiff, but they're super sharp. And then I got my Black Nail Society July, Christmas in July box. I thought I had put it on holding time, but apparently I forgot I paid for that one already. So I got it. It's like, just like everything, they, they put a lot of thought and stuff and it, it's a nice box, but there's, mm, I was tempted to keep the fabric. Other than that, I just, nothing I really wanted, so I just, Immediately put it all back in, popped onto the Black Nail Society sell, trade, buy page, and instantly sold it. So uh, I can't even show you what's in it because I taped it back up. I'm going to mail it out on Thursday. 
And, and then I shouldn't get another box until Halloween. I did the Halloween box and the nice list box because <laughs> I have to. But um, yeah, so those are my, that's my haul. Uh, what else? Oh, so Just Cross Stitch Halloween is out. People are getting it now and I love Halloween and thank God I'm so grateful that I can look up flip throughs on YouTube. So I looked up a flip through from the Steadfast Stitcher and I'm so happy because now I don't spend my, waste my money on it because there's like two things in there I'd stitch. One is like uh, I think it's a feather and she's like never more because you know what if you pop a raisin on it, raisin <laughs> pop a raven on it or make it anyway Edgar Allan Poe related I'll probably stitch it. I love my ravens. There's one over there. I love my Poe. Um, I think there was one more thing in there but I was like yeah I might. it was more of a I might stitch that so I'm glad I don't have to uh, waste my money on it. Other than that nothing going on. We have one kid in Florida with her best friend on a third trip for the summer. Uh, one kid is at grandma's house because it's summer so he is over there working on four-wheelers and cars and riding four-wheelers and just having a grand old time driving grandma and grandpa around. He just that's like it, it's his second home so during the summer I hardly see him. <laughs> um, <gasps> you guys I forgot what I'm planning for my birthday in September is hopefully that Nefertiri start and also um, I live about two and a half hours north of Point Pleasant West Virginia and their Mothman festival is the weekend before my birthday so I'm taking my work wife my daughter and two of her friends and we are gonna go to the Mothman festival I'm gonna have my picture taken with that statue and of me squeezing his metal butt <laughs> And then I'm gonna get some Mothman cookies and some Mothman milkshakes and maybe a Mothman t-shirt and some stickers from my what's that called sewing machine and my bike helmet and I'm just gonna we're going on a bus tour I'm so excited <laughs> it's so ridiculous but I'm so excited my kid's super excited too she wanted to do this about three years ago as a good or a reward for good grades but then the pandemic hit and obviously nothing was going on and so this year we're gonna do it I'm so excited <laughs> it's so silly but yeah so if you're going to the mothman festival on september 17th let me know <laughs> i can say hi from across the crowd <laughs> mothman cookie in one hand mothman milkshake in the other living my best life all right guys that's all i have for you Thanks for stopping by. Um, I always feel like I should say more. <sighs> I suck at endings. I suck at goodbyes. It takes me forever to say goodbye. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for stopping by. I, I know I can be real rambly. So thanks for sticking through. And you guys have a good one. Bye.